Hey. Hey, how's it going? So what time do we have to be at this thing? She didn't say. Don't you have an invite? Yeah. Six o'clock. You wanna play the thing? We're near the end. Restore save game. Restore? Look. You're in Dr. Monogrow's secret laboratory. It looks like a futuristic operating room. Classic mad scientist styles. You'd be laughing at the corniness of it all, but your emotions are busy reacting to the fact that your sweetheart Chris is lying comatose on a table in the middle of the room. Exam table. The table is large enough to accommodate the inert Chris and a large array of medicinal and not so medicinal implements. The symmetrical way they are arranged, circling your angelic fiance, reveal the artistic temperament of the deranged Dr. Monobrow. Examine Pris. You wouldn't think it to look at her, but she's the most beautiful girl ever. Your mutual crush has started to bloom when Dr. Monobrow came along and stole her away from her. And now you know how. He's been controlling her with his brain imprinter. The brain imprinter head cap is attached by a tangle of wires to a monitor which has the words, I love mono, repeated on it over and over. The awful thing is, there's a smile on her face. Remove head cap. Chris's eyes flutter, and she grins her familiar grin. You've saved her. Her hand closes around yours. Unfortunately, her other hand closes around a scalpel, which she inserts rather deeply into one of your adoring eyes. You have died. You scored 90 out of 100 points, giving you the rank of potential paramour. Would you like to restart, restore, or quit? Quit. So, uh, you want to get something to eat before we go to this thing? Sure. Examine brain imprinter. It's your standard issue brain imprinter. A monitor mounted on a metal box with a closed access panel. Examine panel. It's your check and has a sticker on it that says, Caution, sudden disconnects could cause homicidal psychosis. Inventory. You're holding a mixtape, a condom nearing expiration, a video jack, a pair of binoculars, a screwdriver, an incriminating photograph, a toque being worn, and a deep longing for Chris. Use screwdriver to open the panel. It's a square head screwdriver. Screw is a flat head. A metaphor for you and Chris? Examine table. Table's large enough to accommodate the inert Chris and a large array of medicinal and not so medicinal implements. The symmetric way they are arranged, circling your angelic fiance, reveals the artistic temperaments of the deranged Dr. Monobrow. Examine implements. Most of the implements on the table are entirely unrecognizable, except for a syringe, a scalpel, and a preposterously massive dildo. Use scalpel to open the panel. Although clearly not what it was meant to be used for, the scalpel does the job. Your score has gone up four points. Look in brain open. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm glad you guys could come. Thanks a lot. 
Have you had some of the nibblies? There's some nibblies. Yeah, we, we saw them. Oh, wait, you haven't even met Peter yet. Peter, these are my friends, Max and Ian. I told you about them. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Peter, keep going. Do you, uh, do you guys get some nibblies? Some yeah. nibblies out there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Right. Peter. The piece I was talking, talking about? Right, right. Okay, okay sorry. Good. See you. Restore game. Restored. Examine Pris. You wouldn't think it to look at her, but she's the most beautiful girl ever. Your mutual crush had started to bloom when the evil Dr. Monobrow came along and stole her away. And now you know how. He's been controlling her with his brain imprinter. The brain imprinter head cap is attached by a tangle of wires to a monitor which has the words I love Monobrow repeated on it over and over. The awful thing is there's a smile.